gonna be the first day of residency. Uh, I'll be starting on anesthesia rotation. It's gonna be a very exciting day. So let's go to the hospital. I just arrived to the hospital. I'm now going down this hill to my workplace. So the first week usually starts with the orientation. They tell you about your rotations. They tell you how to protect patient information, how to use the medical charts. They give you idea about the benefits because most residency programs cover you with medical insurance, uh, dental insurance, vision insurance. So make sure to check that out usually within 30 to 60 days. Also ask about your retirement benefits because most hospitals give you some plans to cover your retirement. So make sure to check that out. Now let me show you the hospitals around me. This is the main UPMC Presbyterian Hospital. And you'll see here very long buildings around, which are different hospitals, the garages. Always it's not easy to find parking near the big hospitals. And now let's go to the hospital. Always remember on your first day, especially because most of the hospitals are very, very big, try to arrive at least half an hour before your start time because you always get lost on your first day. Inside the hospitals, we still have to wear masks, but most places outside, uh, we don't have to wear masks for restaurants, bars. It's uh, now you just go in without a mask. But inside the hospital, we still have to do it. Here, there is a long bridge that connects all the hospitals. Usually, there is either a tunnel or a bridge to connect the hospitals, especially in big ones. See how it's construction going on. You might be asking, what time is it now? It's 6.45, my start time is 7, so I arrived at 6.30 and I'll be in five minutes at my start place. Here is another view of the bridges and the hospital buildings. So the first day went really well. As I mentioned, I started on anesthesia. So we had two surgeries, two spine surgeries. I helped intubate the patient. I administered some medications. I extubated the patient, so it was an amazing day full of learning and I'm very excited to continue learning about anesthesia, plastic surgery and now it's time to get back home. Hello everyone, today was the second day of residency and it went very well. Today is Monday and I started on Thursday but because Friday was a research day so that did not count as a residency day. So I wanted to tell you about my responsibilities today and research day. I will start with the research day. So every institution has specific requirements for the residents to do research. Some require you to do at least one project during your whole residency training. Some require one project per year. So in our institution, we have one project per year and residents and medical students present their research once a year during this research day. So it was an amazing day with so many good abstracts, both in basic science and clinical research. We had a guest speaker who is the president of the Plastic Surgery Foundation and she told us about her research, her clinical practice, so it was an amazing experience. We also had the opportunity to meet the residents, the faculty, since we are new residents in this program. So that was also uh, an opportunity for us to connect with the residents that we have not met in person. As you know, this year it was a virtual interview. So that was the first in-person meeting with the whole department. On Saturday, it was graduation day. So the residents who been in this program for six years, they graduated, so we attended the graduation party, the memories of the residents during these six years. It was an amazing day, another opportunity for us to connect with the residents and the faculty. And now going back to my second day of residency, the day started at 6.30, so I had to wake up at 5.30, because you have to account for the time for you to get ready, traffic, the commute to the hospital, and also give some time for you to find the OR because as you know the buildings are very big and sometimes it takes you 5 to 10 minutes just to find where you should go. We had two neuro cases as a plastic surgery intern rotating on anesthesia. My responsibilities are mainly to intubate the patient, give medications, uh, also put some lines. I don't have uh, the responsibility to write notes, do physical exams, do consults as in most of the rotations that I'll have in the future. So it's not a busy rotation and so many students take 
anesthesia as an opportunity to do their step three if they've already not done that. I've already completed my step three, so I'm using this month as an opportunity to settle in the city, get to know the hospital, get to know the system, and do some YouTube videos. After I finished, I came to the VA, which is in the back of this video, and I did my fingerprinting to get access to the VA, which is one of the hospitals that will rotate at. So now I'll go back home, I'll start preparing my statistical course, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hello everyone, today was the third day of my residency and it went great. Today I had the chance to intubate two patients and put an arterial line. The difference might be between here in the US and other countries is that for the arterial line we use the ultrasound so you would be able to see the vessel, you would be able to see where the needle goes and also for the intubation we usually use the video one so you can see the vocal cords and the tube as it goes in rather than seeing by your own eye. I also want to talk to you today about the commute to the hospital. You will see once you start residency here or you do rotations that some residents live by, uh, nearby the hospital so either they rent or they buy a house or an apartment near the hospital so they would be able to commute by walking but that's very challenging for residents that have multiple locations so for example in my residency there are over four five or six hospitals that you have to go to during your your residency that, so if you're living by near one hospital you would be far away from the other hospitals so commute by walking might be challenging that's why a car is necessary in most hospitals some people bike that might be challenging in certain cities, but I've seen residents who bike to work most of the year, but most residents would commute to work by car. Some prefer to live further away from the hospital because as you know, the further away from the hospital, the cheaper the price of the renting would be. Therefore, you'd see some residents who would live far away, they would commute to work, try to stay within 10 to 15 minutes, maximum of 20 minutes from work because that would make it easier for you to go to, to your work and go back home without spending too much time on the commute. So after I'm done with my work today, I'll go home, work on my statistical course, and get ready for the next day. So today was the fourth day of residency, and things started to look similar, because today I did the same things that I've been doing for the last three days, arterial line, intubation, giving some medications, and you will realize the same whenever you start on a new rotation, in the first few days, things will be new, uh, but then afterwards you'll get familiar with the procedures, with the notes of that specific rotation. And I wanted to talk to you about two things today. The first one is, how should you prepare to start residency? Many of us are afraid or concerned of the first day, how I don't know how to do things, especially if you studied medicine outside the US, so you're not that familiar with the healthcare system or how things run, and you might feel concerned that you don't know much and how to manage patients on your first day. Don't worry about that because the residents are expecting you not to know everything. They expect that you're new in the system, so they're prepared to teach you and show you how everything is done. So on my first days, I asked so many questions. Uh, they asked me to bring something from here or there, and I tell them I don't know where that is. They show you. So don't feel worried or concerned that you don't know how things run because they are already prepared to show you and, and teach you. But my recommendation to you is, is first to show up early, listen to them, write notes, because that's extremely important for you to remember. So I'm always holding my phone. I have an app that I use, it's called Evernote, and I'll leave the link uh, for that in the description below. So you can remember things after they give you some notes. So it's okay for you to ask a question, but the, what is not okay is if they tell you something and you ask the same question again the next day. That means you're not focusing with them, you're not uh, listening to what they tell you. Regarding studying, it would be great if you can prepare for your cases or for your patients the day before. So let's say you have a specific surgery the next day, it would be amazing if you can read about that surgery for 20 minutes, half an hour before you show up to the case. In case somebody asks you, you'd be prepared. And also remember that you're here in residency to learn and you would get the most out of your training if you're already prepared for the case, you come to the case, you see what, how it's done, you start asking questions and you would learn more. The same applies for internal medicine. If you know what your patients have, you start reading about them up to date from books, 
during the day, if you have like a short break for half an hour, an hour, you can open a book, open a website and learn about your patients more. And you can definitely ask the residents about the resources they use to prepare for exams because there are exams every year for all specialties or just to learn and, and improve your clinical knowledge. So now I'll be going back home and working on recording my statistics course. But before I leave, I wanted to tell you where I am right now recording this video. Today was a rainy day, so I didn't want to record outside and I chose this place to record this video. And this place, the Interfaith Chapel. You'll find in most US hospitals, there is a place where people from all religions can come here and pray. Not only patients, also doctors, if they want to pray, they can come to this place and pray. It's very peaceful. It has signs from all religions. So I find this very cool to have this intercultural and interfaith place for people to come here. Today was the last day of my first week in residency. The first week was a phenomenal experience, a lot of learning, a lot of accustomed to the city, to the medical system in the hospital, especially after spending three years in research. I also took the first week as an opportunity to move to my house, to uh, start working on my statistical course, and hopefully that will be out soon. Today I wanted to share with you a few tips that residents, senior residents shared with me on how to survive in residency. The first one is always to ask. Don't be afraid of not knowing because everyone expects you not to know everything from the beginning. So always ask your seniors if you're not aware of what to do. It's always better to ask rather than claim you know something and not know how to do it. But prepare. So don't always ask questions without doing your part. So always try to read about your cases, read about your patients, uh, try to find the answer yourself and if you couldn't find it, definitely ask your seniors. Also keep a smiling face and have a nice attitude. Also take care of yourself and your colleagues. It's so easy when you work for so long not to eat healthy or not to exercise. Always dedicate some time for yourself to exercise, to eat healthy, to do the things that you like to do and also take care of your co-residents. If you feel that your friend is feeling down or not as happy, try to find out what their problem and try to help them because this is what friends are there for. So this has been my experience for the first week. I'll go now and work on my statistics course. As you know, my research course is out. If you want to check it out, the link will be in the description below. Sunday is going to be the 4th of July, which is the Independence Day here in the US. It's one of my favorite holidays. There would be a lot of fireworks around the city. So have fun and enjoy your time if you're here in the US. As usual, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter at Malki Asad or my Facebook page Malki Asad MD. I wish you best luck on your journey. I hope you start residency soon if you're preparing for that. If you already started, good luck on this journey. It's long, it's tiring, but it's definitely so much fun. Thank you everyone so much for watching and see you in future videos. Peace.